Hello, you're watching Shalom World News. I'm Donna Villa coming to you from Chicago, Illinois. Here are the latest headlines from around the world. In a move that will be welcomed by pro-life supporters in Northern Ireland, the nation's first minister has made it clear that he will resist a directive of the British government to impose abortion services on the province. Northern Ireland First Minister Paul Givens says he will resist a UK government order imposing abortion, quote, services, unquote, on the province. After Northern Ireland Secretary of State Brandon Lewis demanded that the government enhance funds for abortion before March 31st of 2022, Givens said he would seek legal action to block the directive. In April, British parliamentarians voted 431 to 89 to permit Secretary of State Lewis to impose abortion services on Northern Ireland. Ever since the 1967 Abortion Act was enacted, more than 9 million babies have been aborted in Britain. In 2019, Westminster had decriminalized abortion in Northern Ireland. The Holy Father, Pope Francis, has appointed Canadian Nobel laureate professor Donna Theo Strickland as a member of the Pontifical Academy of Sciences. A professor of optical physics at the Department of Physics and Astronomy at the University of Waterloo, Strickland was one of the winners of the Nobel Prize for Physics in 2018. She was given the top award for inventing chirped pulse amplification for lasers. Born in 1959 in Canada, the professor is a member of the Optical Society, where she has served as vice president and president. The Holy Father also appointed former Taiwan vice president and noted epidemiologist Dr. Chen Jian Ren as member of the Pontifical Academy of Sciences. He was noted for his stellar role in containing the first wave of the pandemic in his country. As the devastating decade-long civil war and the worsening economic crisis have forced millions of Syrians to beg for bread and other essential items, a Catholic charity has pledged to donate more than one million pounds for projects in the country, aid to the church in need, which provides food, medical aid, and spiritual support to the people of Syria, has joined hands with the Melkite Greek Catholic Patriarchate to expand the operations of the, quote, Bakery of Mercy, unquote, in northern Syria. The initiative has been providing 1,000 needy families with bread since September last year. Beneficiaries also include orphanages and care homes for the elderly. With the funds provided by Aid to the Church in Need, the Bakery of Mercy plans to have a soup kitchen and social market offering basic food and other essential products at a subsidized cost. Pope Francis has sent a message to young Catholics who are taking part in the International Youth Festival in Medjugorje in Bosnia and Herzegovina from August 1st through the 6th. On the second day of the event, the Holy Father exhorted young believers that the loving gaze of Jesus can liberate them from the seduction of idols. The pontiff also encouraged them to have the courage to live their youth by entrusting themselves to Christ, adding that they should not be afraid to welcome the word of the Lord and accept his call. The youth festival features religious education, testimonies, and a musical show apart from the Holy Mass, Eucharistic adoration, the rosary, and a procession. Catholic churches and priests are often targeted in the ongoing military offensive between Myanmar government troops and ethnic militia. In the latest incident, a Catholic priest and a catechist have been detained by a Burmese ethnic militia group after accusing them of collaborating with the ruling military junta. Father Noel Hrang Tin Tang and a catechist were detained by the Chinlan Defense Force, or the CDF, on July 26th. The priest and the catechist hailing from the Church of Our Lady of the Rosary Parish in the Surkwa were taken into captivity while they were traveling from Surkwa town to Hakka. Expressing concern over the security of the detainees, Bishop Lucius Rekung of Hakka Diocese has demanded their immediate release. Following the bishop's request, the CDF said that both of them are in stable condition. 
The White House has announced that President Joe Biden has nominated Indian American attorney Rashad Hussain as the ambassador at large and head of the State Department's Office for International Religious Freedom. Hussein becomes the first Muslim to be nominated for the key position. Hussein succeeds former Kansas governor and Senator Sam Brownback. A White House statement says the appointment underscores Biden's commitment to building an administration that looks like America and reflects people of all faiths. Hussein currently works for the National Security Council as a director of partnerships and global engagement. He previously served the Department of Justice National Security Division as a senior attorney. During the Obama administration, Hussein was also the U.S. Special Envoy to the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. The Apostolic Nuncio to the Philippines, Archbishop Charles Brown, has said that the mission of the Catholic University is to guide students to the truth and relentlessly seek it. The prelate made the statement in his recent message to students at University of Santa Tomas as they begin their new academic year. Also known as USD, the University of Santa Tomas was founded in Manila in 1611 by Spanish Dominican friar Miguel de Benavides, and it is the oldest extant university charter in Asia. The Nuncia also prayed for the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 restrictions, Archbishop Brown could not attend the Mass of the Holy Spirit that marks the beginning of the academic year. And those are your latest headlines. Do join us tomorrow. In the meantime, you can visit swnews.org for more updates. Shalom.